الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحابته أجمعين قال الله تعالى قل إن صلاتي ونسكي ومحياي ومماتي لله رب العالمين لا شريك له وبذلك أمرت The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Kana Allah wa lam yakun shay. There was Allah and nothing existed. Kana Allah wa lam yakun shay. There was Allah from eternity. Only Allah existed, nothing else existed. Me, you, everything we see around us, nothing existed. There will be a day when nothing will remain to exist. Allah says in the Quran, He will announce, لِمَنِ الْمُلْكُ الْيَوْمِ For whom is kingdom rule today? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will destroy everything of this universe. We will not exist, no humans, no jinn. Nothing will exist. Allah will destroy it and Allah will announce on that day, لِمَنِ الْمُلْكُ الْيَوْمِ For whom is al-mulk? Rule. Who is the king today? Who is the ruler today? In this short time, I want to just focus on uh, a very fundamental, fundamental message of this day of Eid al-Adha, which we can derive from the great sacrifice of Ibrahim alayhi salam, of his son Ismail alayhi salam, which eventually became the sacrifice of a ram. The message of Millet of Ibrahim, you can say a summary of what our Imam is also, our honorable Imam, he gave a very uh, important, integral, and very heartfelt message to us. We can say a summary of that from this day of Eid, the lesson we should be taking is everything is about Allah. Only Allah existed, nothing existed. He brought everything into existence. He owns everything. He is the owner of the heavens and the earth. We all belong to Allah. We will not exist, only Allah will exist. لِمَنِ الْمُلْكُ الْيَوْمِ These are two ends Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding us of. And with this reminder on this day of Eid, the day of sacrifice, Ibrahim alayhi salam, through his sacrifice is reminding us, through his sacrifice of his son, that it's not about me, it's not about my love for my son, it's not about my son. Everything is about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On this day when we say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illa Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. When the hujjaj, the pilgrims say labbaik, Allahumma labbaik, labbaik la sharika laka labbaik, inna alhamda wal ni'mata lak wal mulk la sharika lak. These, uh, these uh, you know, pronouncements, these statements that are being made all over the world, Billions of human beings are raising the takbir, these sounds of takbir that are, that are taking place all over the world. This is reminding us that everything is about Allah. One of the greatest uh, diseases of the society that we are living in as, is that we have forgotten this. That it is all about Allah. We have started to think that it's about me. It's about my money. It's about my reputation. It's about my family. It's about the house that I have, the car that I drive. Everything is now about other than Allah. This day of Eid is a reminder. Allah is reminding us. Do not forget. Everything is about Allah. Everything that I own is Allah's. I am Allah's. He owns me. He owns everything that I own. The clothes that I wear. 
this clothes is about Allah. It's not about me, how good I look. When I put these clothing on, I say, Alhamdulillah, alladhi kasani. All praises are for Allah. This clothes is about Allah, these clothing. The food that I eat is about Allah. I say, Alhamdulillah, alladhi at'amana. When I go to sleep, it's about Allah. Allahumma bismika, with your name. When I wake up, it's about Allah. Alhamdulillah, alladhi ahyana. When I drive my car, my car is about Allah too. Subhanalladhi sakhara lana. Every step of the way, every day Allah says, five times He calls us. Salatul Fajr, Salatul Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha. What, this is to remind us, we come to Him in this house, the house of Allah, to remind ourselves, it's all about Allah. We should never forget this. وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهِ Allah says, don't be like those people who forget Allah. We have become people now, become so occupied in our material pursuits, we have forgotten Allah. How many times we put our clothing on, we don't remember Allah. When we eat, we don't remember Allah. When we are going to work, we don't remember Allah. It's about money. When we are with our families, we forget Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has become absent from our lives. This day is reminding us, again when we say this takbir, that everything is about Allah. Everything about my life is, it belongs to Allah, it's about Allah. It's about pleasing Allah, it's about displeasing Allah. There will be a day when every human being will realize this. Those who knew it in this world, or those who did not know it. When everyone is made to stand before Allah, that's when Abdullah will realize that's when every person will realize it was all about Allah. Like, what, wait, what did I do with my life? Everything was about Allah. When I stand before Allah, that's when I will come to this realization. This world Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made is very temporary. And He made it for His sake too. Allah, the Prophet sallallahu says, Ad-dunya kulluha mal'oona, mal'oonun ma fiha. The whole universe is void, is deprived of Allah's mercy. It's cursed. Everything in this world is devoid of Allah's mercy. Mal'oonun ma fiha. Everything in the world is mal'oon. Allah subhanahu wa it's deprived of Allah's mercy. Except illa aliman aw muta'alliman aw dhikr Allah wa ma'wala. The one who seeks the knowledge of Allah. The one who is teaching the knowledge of Allah. And the one who is engaged in the remembrance of Allah. Everything that is associated with Allah is valuable in this world. And everything that is void of the remembrance of Allah, of this recognition, recognition that this is for Allah, this is worthless. Majority of human beings are living their lives without this realization that this life and whatever there is in it is all about Allah. It's about our Creator. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. But how many people we know? The majority of human beings, they have lost this recognition. We also, although we have said, La ilaha illallah, but we know so much of our life is deprived of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the remembrance of Allah, of this recognition. And this is why. This is a day of joy. We celebrate this day because this is the day when Allah reminds us that it is about Allah. These days of Eid, the, the scholars say you're not even allowed to fast on these days of Eid. It is haram to fast on the day of Eid, to fast tomorrow, the day after, the 10th, 11th, and 12th. Why? Because it is about Allah. This is the diyafat of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing hospitality to His servants by allowing them to consume this sacrificial meat. You are not allowed, not allowed to fast on these days because Allah is giving da'wah. Allah is feeding you. And therefore, we should be uh, honored to consume the meat of qurbani, the meat of sacrifice, because this is the diyafat of Allah. It is every, everything is about Allah. And this is why on this day, this, uh, this fundamental message that we should be taking with us and reminding ourselves that we should not be people who forget Allah. لا تكونوا كالذين نسوا الله فأنساهم أنفسهم Allah says, the consequence of forgetting that everything is about Allah, the consequence of forgetting Allah is Allah will cause us to forget ourselves. When a human being forgets who he is, 
forgets what his purpose is, what his objective is, then we see all the chaos and corruption that is being spread by human beings. This is when humans don't realize who they are. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's a, uh, I just wanted to, I couldn't translate what our honorable Imam said, but he was emphasizing the fact, I just want to briefly mention this before we finish, uh, that he was emphasizing the fact that we have come to this land. Many of us are financial migrants. We have come here for a better worldly life. But that should not be to the detriment of our deen. Our pursuit of a better worldly life should not be at the cost of our deen. It should not be at the cost of the deen of our children. Our children should not become such that they forget who Allah is. They forget what all of this is about. And they become people of dunya. And they have no deen in them. He says very emphatically, and this is something that has been said previously by, by our scholars, Sheikh Abul Hassan Ali al Nadawi rahimahullah, who traveled to these, land, to these lands, and he addressed the Muslims of that time, decades ago. And he said that if you are not here, if you are here, uh, most of you are here for the purpose of uh, a worldly pursuit. But if you do not make a worry and concern for the deen, the religion of your children, and if it is so that the, the deen will be lost in your children, then it is not permissible for you to live in these lands. If you are not going to uh, make an effort to preserve your deen in yourself and in your children, and if you neglect your children and do not remind them of what all of this is about, it is all about Allah. If you don't instill the love of Allah and the love of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, the love of the Millat of Ibrahim in the hearts of your children, then you should not be living here. And this is a reminder for us, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq on this day to remember what everything is about. This fundamental message, everything is about Allah. Never forget this, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The more we come to this realization, the more we will be living real lives. Understand this, the more we come to the realization that everything is about Allah, the more we are uh, closer to reality. And the more we forget Allah and forget that it's all about Him, the more we will be living superficial lives. Those who do not have Allah in their life, they are living superficial lives. They are deluded of reality. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us. May Allah protect us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep the whole ummah steadfast and keep our, make our lives a life of remembrance, a life of recognition. A life, a life in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is every part of this life. May Allah give us a tawfiq.